Hey Manny friends, how are you all doing? I am so glad that you came back. Um, and actually, before I start talking about this Manny, um, I did want to ask, I would love feedback. Um, this is my third video now, and um, I, I really would love to hear, is there anything you particularly like? Is there anything you particularly dislike? How is the music? How are the zoom-ins? Do you like the manicures? Um, but truly, I, I enjoy doing this, and I'm going to keep doing it because I have fun. Um, but I would even more like to do videos that more people would like to watch. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, anyway, for this manicure, my lavender manicure, I really wanted to uh, use the dot glitter. That was my main inspiration for this manicure. Um, the colors I used, this one right here, is actually a purple that I created. Um, I used pigments that uh, Walmart has a pack of pigments, I think four different pigments, very inexpensive, and the purple was one of them. Um, and uh, and I think that's what I'll stop with for the moment, so take a watch and I'm sure I will chime in later. So while I'm doing this, I have my TV on in the background. I always have my TV on. <laughs> and I've got 90 Day Fiance. Do any of you watch that show? It's like my guilty pleasure. It makes me feel better about my life. Um, anyway, what are your guilty pleasure TV shows? I've got the news on a lot during the day, but at night, there's, yeah, crap TV. <laughs> Not much of that, that color left, but made it work, didn't I? say that I really like these Nicole Diary powders. Um, I get them really inexpensive on AliExpress.com, um, but I have been really happy with their quality. Uh, have any of you guys used Nicole Diary? Um, if so, where did you get them from? Uh, leave some comments, I'd love to hear.
Do you notice? I keep wanting to use that activator and then realize I've forgotten a step. So I do that step and then go to use the activator and I realize I've forgotten a step. <laughs> There's so many steps to doing this dip powder, isn't there? on a little strange I think um, new to these tools and my plan was to kind of have some light layers with the clear so you could see the depth of it on your finger but I just kind of went overboard with the glitter <laughs> it still looks good I still really liked it maybe there's a better way to do this but I didn't want to just lay my finger into the glitter um, it worked out in the end in my clear in three, two, one. Because eventually that will show up on another manicure.
see, watch me going crazy with the glitter. I just can't stop. something like five or six layers of clear on that nail so it is a little thicker than the rest but it's not too bad I personally am not a fan of thick nails I like them thinner um, but it worked out This e-file I'm using here has already bit the dust. It did not last long. Of course, I did not pay much for it either. Um, I don't understand why. It's just something that spins a bit around, why it would make a difference. But I got the um, Melody Susie, Susie Melody, I think Melody Susie Professional um, on recommendation of Marla Chris. If you have not heard of Marla Chris, you need to go check her out, but wait until this video is over and then go check her out. And if you're listening, Marla, thank you. And um, the new drill is great. I used it for the first time on myself uh, just yesterday and what a difference it really makes. So I'm kind of glad that the uh, other one broke and I was forced to get a new one. my first time using not only gel top coat but gel at all at home and what a game changer this makes it so much quicker to finish up this step so I really really love it a lot thank you for sticking with this video until the end I really would love to hear your feedback I hope you like the manicure and I will see you next time friends